Hi guys. Hope you guys are doing well. It has been a cold. Uh, of course I have some kelly there because I have to use the AC uh, to make sure that my phone doesn't overheat. You know some suns are overheating. Uh, I see says get a nice helper. Is it Mebo? To flick the switches and uh, and uh, step on the pedals as you observe the car. Note the event hasn't started yet, so I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm here. Uh, we're going to be covering how to know some of the faults. I didn't say some there, but uh, of course, some of these things. We may not be able to see. So, how to know some of the faults in cars when you're going to buy a car? So, I'm in Kawempe, this industrial area here. Hi, Mr. Emma, how are you? How is work? Yeah, for me, I'm good. By the way, Emma, I think yesterday we, we bought a car within your budget range. Uh, you wanted to buy a new one. So yesterday I helped uh, one of my followers here buy a field, a Toyota Fielder. 23 million. It's in very good condition. My God. Eh, 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 eh. Toyota has made some very comfortable cars, by the way. So we bought that Fielder. And uh, it was super nice. Super nice. Buy and drive. Buy and enjoy, clean, yeah. Now the guy a joga kati, a joga. Of course, he needs to change tires. Need a to sa later on. So, uh, in a couple of months, probably he'll share his experience. I remember when I I want to share the experience quite sooner because I know Oxara will upgrade inga mangu mangu. Yeah, so I'm um, probably next month he will tell tell us how he, what he thinks about his car. Yeah, but uh, with the inspection that we did, the car was in very very was in tip top condition. That's one thing I can tell you. And uh, yeah, did I have a good day on agenda? Uh, he has done service today. Yeah, and the oil wasn't bad. Yeah. They were driving. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, in case they don't upgrade, they can actually drive that car for like five to ten years. Eh? Because it's still in very good condition. The mileage is not that bad for a car that has been driven in Uganda for a number of years. Because the UBF ever in Uganda for like two years. Eh? Yeah, UBF ever two years old in Uganda. Yeah. So today we're going to be covering um, what how to uh hi seth thanks for coming as well so today we're going to be covering how to um uh, to, to see some of the faults in the car of course there are some of those things that you may not see uh, but with this especially like the car we bought yesterday there are things that are very hard to uh, to have it's very hard to find a car that is in UB series, UBF and above, for example, that has a bad engine. Um, I, I've gotten a lot of followers that are asking me about car prices. Uh, someone wanted to buy a Harrier Kawundo and he has 25 million. Yes, 25 million you can get a Harrier Kawundo, but it will be the older number plates UAZ, UAY, and uh, of course, sometimes you can get a UBA. But UBB and above, it's quite uh, hard for you to get one. Yeah. But for you to get a good number plate, UBD and above, uh, you need to have 30 to 35 million. Because a new car window in the bond can go for between 56 million up to 70. Now, 70 is the rule for 2009. I also need to understand that uh, if you're going to be buying cars in the bond, that uh, cars. Uh, is a moral case in Pia. They have grades. Okay? 
But let me talk about grades sometime come. So uh, a fielder, a Toyota fielder brand new in the bone, that's why we did not buy in the bone, uh, will go for between 35 million to 38 or 39, depending on where you buy. That's between 2008 and 2009. And uh, also, Primo, Primo can actually go up to 45 million. Now, uh, I talked about grades that uh, cars have grades for the people that import them from Japan. Eh? And these grades, these grades um, dictate, sometimes dictate the price. They go from grade A up to like 10. And uh, whichever the Japanese mean by that, if you're going to be buying a car from the bond in Kampala, of course they will not care to tell you about what the grade means because they will not even tell you what the grade is. So you need to know which grade am I buying and at what price. The worst, the, the worst, if a grade is, is bad, for example, grade one is uh, those accident cars that they will not even pass inspection. Those are the ones where you see that they get spare from that they bring for us here. And uh, And of course, grade two, grade three. Now, most people here buy grade four. That's why you'll find that someone has a Toyota Fielder and they bought it 35 million. And another one has the same model. Looks exactly the same. And he bought it 37. Okay? Why? It's because of the grade. Probably the one that brought uh, the Fielder at 35 million uh, bought it, bought the grade two or grade three or grade 3.5. Uh, which normally these cars are not in very good condition. Probably they checked it and it has a it has a fault in Japan, and they decided to price it cheaply. So because this person also bought it cheaply in Japan, is going to resell it cheaply. So Kakati Gobeda ngawe wa Namia, I went to the bond and I bought my car. You see fielders in other bonds are 40 million. Me I bought it 36. Kumbe the grade of the car you bought is not the very nice grade. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. All about how you go to Chikubo to buy something and they tell you, ah, ah no, let, let's use the phones. You see how you go to buy a phone and they tell you in a high copy? In a copy. You get eh? something like that. The grades, the grades will basically tell you that this car was in very good condition before it was bought from Japan. This one was not in very good, or this one was in perfect condition. And normally the prices, and our traders here will not, will normally not bring the grade 8 and grade 9. You get, they'll bring the grade 4, 3.5, and more, at most 5. Because they know the buyers here. They will know the average price that is going to be sold in Kampala, and uh, they will stick to that price. Because it will be very hard to find someone buying a fielder, 2009, at 45 million, however good it is. For us Ugandans, we, we buy to have a car that moves. So there are things you don't care about, like the mileage. For example, someone will buy a car from Japan and the mileage is, let's say, 1,000 kilometers. And it's in perfect condition. The tires are there, the shock absorbers have never been changed and all those things. Eh? But you know you cannot explain some of those things to, to, uh, to an individual. You get eh? So, uh, so that's, that, that's why you'll find that they bring grade 4, 3.5, or at most 5. So that's why you see that most of the cars in Uganda are almost in the same condition. Because when they're importing the cars from Japan, they import the same grade you get. So, but it's, it's a good thing for you to know that even in new cars, there are grades. So that you don't go around bragging in the Moroke Yang Najigula Raisa Atenga Kirasi Yemune Yamwe. You get over type Yemune Yamwe. Some of these things you should not, uh, you should be very careful to know. For example, when you're going to buy a car, like me, I know dealers that I can talk to, and they tell me, no, that's that's grade four, or that's grade two, uh, that's not good, or this is good. Uh, and most 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 people, when you guys go to the bond, you just want to find a car that looks nice, the engine sounds nice. Probably you go with the mechanic, and all the mechanic cares about is how much are they giving me if I make this, I close this sale. Get. So some of those things you'll never know, but well, I've told you. So now you, you can go and actually ask. Um, 
this is the other thing that I, I, I'm discouraging you guys from, from, from doing. I'm discouraging you guys from asking me about prices. Why? Especially if you have seen a car and they want to sell it to you. Why I'm discouraging it is because you're going to buy a bad car. And then you say, but Arthur, I asked you. You asked me from where. Over the phone, there are decisions I cannot say. You buy that one or don't buy. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. There are things I cannot be sure about on the phone. For example, uh, one, of, one of the guys here sent me a message today. He wants to buy a Kawundo at around 27. The Kawundo he wants to buy in the same number plate, same series, is supposed to be 33 million. To be sincere, guys. Okuja Konga Of which such people don't go to final buyers. They go to bond owners. Why would someone sell you a car that can be sold at 33 at 27? I don't know if you get what I'm saying, you guys. Eh? So some of these things, I'll tell you a price and you'll think, ah, maybe he wants me to go and buy from him. I don't have cars. I'm not a broker. The other people that we have bought with, we, we made calls together. We nae ne moroka. We nae ne moroka. And then we moved to the cars and saw all of them. And I made sure that... Uh, uh, the buyer actually gets to earn, to love the car before we buy it. So I need you to understand is that the price, price is dependent on a lot of things. Like we've said, even in the bond, they have grades. So I don't want you to think that simply because something seems cheap or too affordable, that okay, you should just rush and buy. I know I tell my, my people actually don't get money out of the bank unless you are quite sure about the car. If possible, we drive that very car to the bank. So prices, you asking me. So what of a primo? It's two thousand nine at this price. I'm totally. I will answer you. No, I will not refuse to answer you. But I discourage it. Okay, I discourage it because I'm advising you blindly. Some of you go to Gigi and you see cars, and then you think some of those Gigi guys don't even have the car. They have just put it as a hook. You tell him where is the car. He tells you, come. The car is in Machin. Most of them are from Machin. The car is Machin. They come. So you go to Machin and he told you, tells you, I'm Morocco Sanziba Kajibura. Because the car was never there in the first place. That's why the, 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 the price was unbelievable. I don't know if you guys get me what I'm get what I'm saying. Hmm? Uh, let's not let's not uh, because you will you will end up struggling with the car if you buy it thinking that maybe the guys that are selling expensively Bakusera Nenga, I tell the guys that are selling expensively are the ones that are giving you the fair price the real price you get because uh, and normally when someone is asking you when they want to buy a cheap thing they start by asking you hey Arthur then you tell them how much it will cost let me just stand to me I'm a bit as normally they'll ask you Arthur how much is uh, for example how much is your Corolla in the bond and they'll tell them 45 and then, hey now someone is trying to sell to me uh, a UBH at uh, 26 can I buy like serious how am I going to answer a question like okay you go and buy go ahead and buy I've not seen the car I don't know what condition it is in we don't even know if the car was stolen or something like that I don't know if you get what I'm saying you get eh? so some 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 of these inquiries they are good they try to enlighten you over the phone without you spending money on me but you need to be very careful so that you don't make a loss because there are chances that uh, you will try to buy a car at a cheap price at home and you have lost your money you get eh? you have lost your money uh, there are realistic prices in the market. You just have to know what is realistic, what is not. I've told you, a person cannot be a, be selling you a car. Of uh, like I told you, uh, there is a story of uh, there is a story of uh, the Delica that I talked about yesterday. The owner finally gave up and sold the Delica five million to Batemi, to these guys that chop cars and they sell spare parts. Now someone comes to the Mutemi and he buys the same car at 8 million. 
you think by the time they, they, they bring this car Arthur you are a big man <laughs> I'm not really a big man I've just traveled around quite a bit I've done quite I've done some things in in my field so you guys um I you need to understand what is affordable or what is cheap or what is on what is a good offer and what is a ripoff sometimes you'll buy something thinking that you're saving money and then you end up losing a lot of money you get eh? so it's very important that uh tetukola law says way yeah um so now we're going to be talking about the the faults that i think you should be looking at and how to support them okay uh, i'm going to be talking mostly about petrol cars because majority of the my followers actually are buying small cars eh, for everyday drive yeah this is uh i'm heading towards um I'm heading towards, I think, Matuka. Yeah, I've passed Kawanda. Let me see. Yeah, I've passed Kawanda. I'm heading towards. I'm still in Kawanda. You remember the ins inspection that the government brought? The Safe Drive Uganda, it's there. The Achi Warehouse. Hey, but they did that thing. Some people went and inspected. Inspected their cars. So it's there. The Bombo Road Warehouse. Yeah. So, uh, how you spot some of these faults in cars? How you spot some of the faults in these cars? I, I think uh, the first the first and major fault that people are going to say at a Jogere K, you know, is a uh, engine faults, right? Engine faults. Now, you need to understand their types of engines, okay? and their conditions of engines for example i'll tell you that an engine my engine which is called the one nz the field has newer models called the one nz fe which is consumes lesser fuel and gives gives relatively the same power so uh we need to understand that these engines actually i'll i'll think i'll i'll i'll, I'll think that most of the VVTI engines, when the service expires, for example, we're doing a quarter service today, and you don't, and you drive it for another month, the engine will start will start um, sounding funny. It will start sounding like a tractor. Most VVTI engines, when the service is done, that's how they sound. So if you're taken to a car and it sounds like that. And the owner is telling you service here with the car, okay? And you like the car, and you really like the car, and you want to buy it. Tell him, let us change the oil. You go and buy shell oil, buy a filter if you can, put new oil in that car. If it continues doing the same sound, don't buy that car. Guys, I hope I'm clear. If the engine of a daughter a Toyota car, a small car like mine, VVTI, does sounds almost like a tractor. And the owner is the person selling to you is telling you, ah, your service here with the coup. Because they will surely tell you that. I recommend that you suggest that you change the oil. Change the oil and oil filter. If the car is bad and you don't buy it, you would have spent a hundred thousand, but at least you will not have spent the money to buy a car. If you change the oil and oil filter and the engine continues to sound like that, okay, don't buy the car. Then just know the engine is bad. These new VVTI engines are silent. Chovora, but even the Kawundo can pass you not a Wurilanti again. They are very silent. The VVTI engine is supposed to be very silent. Okay? So that's, that's one fault. However, there is a sound that can also be tolerated. I told you when we were going to buy a Corsa for, when we were going to buy the, the, the Corsa for one of my followers here, we found a Corsa which was in a good offer, looking at the budget that I was given. It was at 3.5. Okay, that's the price the owner talked about, which I'm sure he would have taken three. And 
And it so happens that the engine had that taka taka sound, like a tractor kind of. But of course these small engines won't get to the tractor sound, but it will almost have the tractor sound. Okay? So what happened was that uh, it did the sound, but me, because I've driven a car like, that had that sound before, the engine was not set so good. Okay? The engine wasn't so good. I know that that happens. The engine can die, especially the top part. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, you guys, the engine can actually be not so good, but when in that present condition, you can actually drive it. Now, that are buying cars 10 million and above, forget about it. If you find a high, high chemistry, if you find a car that has a that has a bad engine, 10 million and above, that sounds funny. Toji gula, because you're spending 10 million of your money. So if you're going to be spending 10 million on a car, it better be in very good condition. Okay? It better be in very good condition. The people that are buying cars of 5 million and below, these are the ones I'm giving this exception. Sometimes you will find a car having a bad sound. In the engine Nenga the engine is good it's still okay it can still move I don't know if you you get what I'm saying the engine sounds bad but you can still drive it for a year or two because I've ever driven a Chibina that's why normally I tell people if you're buying a car at a very small price 3 million 4 million go for a Corona Chibina 190 that's the one car that you will drive in the engine will blow and you continue dry, driving uh, after regardless of all factors on average how long should it be before changing car tires and battery uh, the battery should wait until it starts showing signs of wear the car tires the same thing wait until the tires show signs of wear when the tread is not there but on average if someone bought new tires and put them on a car they will um, they, you can drive the, the car if you drive like me Every day, every day, every day, long distances. You can drive that car for for two years. That's normally the minimum for two years. If the car is properly uh, has proper wheel alignment, you can drive the car for two years. However, if you don't have proper wheel alignment, you can even drive it for a month and the front tires get worn out because the car that doesn't have wheel alignment. Uh, kind of gets gets the tires to tear very fast either inside or outside or in the middle you get eh? sometimes it also happens because of wheel balancing now the wheel balancing is uh when the car is almost dancing if you drive a car and it's almost dancing like the, you, you can feel it in the steering wheel that the car is is actually not stable. Normally, that's that's a sign of a wheel wheel balance, bad wheel balancing. Eh? Or or uh, sometimes it's actually a tire that has one of the tires is bad. Eh? Yeah, and uh, yeah, basically, I think two years are enough. And the battery you can drive it up to ten years if you look after it very well. If if you buy the Uganda batteries. Uh, battery that uh, you where you put acid eh? I recommend that you guys buy Uganda batteries because from my experience Uganda batteries uh, uh, Uganda batteries batteries <laughs> are very very reliable you can drive it for the guys that keep upgrading like me or downgrading Kamori Chisachi where is Kamori where is Kamori so you guys uh, the battery so choose acid in time okay change the acid in time and you have no problem make sure your car charges properly like now I discovered my car might not be charging properly sometimes it drags when I'm starting the engine normally that's how you know that the, the, the battery is bad you start starting the engine yeah but me I'm driving a manual car that's the advantage of manual cars. So, but uh, but it doesn't reach that level because 
that happens in special cases some 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 uh, unique is, 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 is. yeah so um yeah kakati the people buying cars for five million and below i can give you i can give you the exception to buy a car that has an engine that kind of sounds like a tractor why you look at what offer you're getting for example if you move around around the market and you discover that you you may not be able to get a car in your price range and then you find this car in your price range that and, and where everything is okay and the only trouble you have is that funny sound of the engine buy that car okay but make sure you have a mechanic the mechanic should actually be able to tell you or solo kavuka because there are sometimes when that the, the, the car sound actually is telling you this engine is dead long time ago so make sure you have a mechanic me when i go for inspections i come with a mechanic i don't go to inspections that's my mechanic he's going to inspect the car okay the things i i, I will not be able to see because because he's a professional so if i tell him he would know uh, what to look out for I don't know if you get what I'm saying yeah so when you're going to buy a car always make sure you have a mechanic with you and make sure you pay them by the way I pay my mechanics so when you're going to buy a car make sure you have a mechanic with you otherwise you may, you may regret and by the way guys if you're going to buy a car try as much as possible not to save money because I a cent now save the money by bargaining when you're buying a car don't save the money by 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 cheating pre-inspection pre-purchase inspection okay pre-purchase inspection is very important to mitigate a lot of costs okay yeah so the engine to jimazendo was i know if you have a problem about the if you have a question about how to see to figure out a good engine of course there are other things you may want to see uh there in the engine bay of course you want to see the oil levels to see the kind of oil that is there uh, some people drive cars that have mixed oil with water now normally when a car mixes oil with water that's a car that has kuchamu card that has overheated it mixes oil and uh, and uh, oil and water and normally that car requires an engine overhaul okay so or and it has blue probably the, the 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 piston rings and all so that a car like that you will need to overhaul the engine so when you get the dipstick normally that oil is brown 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 uh don't buy a car don't buy a car that uh that has brown oil the oil is supposed to either be black or clear not brown okay if you if you find that you're going to buy a car and you find that the oil is brown it's a bad car okay i hope i'm clear about that uh the other thing uh, in the engine bay one thing you need to see you need to check if the car overheats uh normally open the radiator now this is where i tell you you need to take me and the mechanic and we charge you some kamani and we eat some kamani on you okay to check these things because sometimes even if i tell you you may go to check and you cannot figure it out so uh normally for you to see if a car overheats you open the radiator cap as the engine is running okay now normally when the engine is running water is supposed to go up clockwise okay water goes clockwise only clockwise but if a car overheats yeah if a car overheats the, the water doesn't the water in the radiator doesn't go clockwise it actually jumps Okay. or sometimes it goes both ways or anti-clockwise and all but that you need a mechanic to actually sometimes uh, inspect that so make sure you go with the mechanic you inspect it you don't want to buy a car and as you're driving home it overheats because once you buy a car from someone and you discover a problem like overheating 
you will ask you to what's the name mechanic and akebera. Now, even if you didn't come with the mechanic, that's not his fault. You're supposed to go with the mechanic for inspection of the car. Okay? So you need to understand that. That's how you know how that the car overheats. Now, someone has asked why do cars kupipida in the morning? Now, sometimes uh, the cars kupipida because uh, probably bad plugs. That's number one normally. Uh, the other, the other thing is the bad fuel pump. Now, the things I'm telling you are the things normally that you should check. If your car stalls or bakuba ito kupipida, the first thing you need to check is are the plugs good? Okay. Does the car have has have an oil leakage that leads oil to the plug area? Because sometimes a car will get uh, like a top a top a top cover seal that is faulty, and oil will go to where the plugs are. And when the plugs are wet with oil, they will not work. Also, when the plugs are wet with fuel, they will not work. Now, most instances, the reason why plugs get wet with fuel is probably because the plug itself is bad. Or sometimes the car is putting a lot of fuel that the plugs cannot burn. So number one why cars can kupipida in the morning is the plugs. Number two is a bad fuel pump. Normally that thing should resolve with those two things. Now if it doesn't resolve, you should see if all the... What do they call those things? The things that... Uh, the nozzles. The fuel nozzles. If the, fu the plugs are okay, the fuel filter is okay, uh, the fuel pump, actually check the fuel pump and check the fuel filter as well. If all those things are okay, okay, if all those things are okay, then you can go to see the nozzles, if every nozzle works properly. Now, if the nozzles also work properly, the wiring for the newer cars, because there is nothing else that should be doing that. Because normally if the car has air, it has a spark, and it has fuel, it should be moving properly. Okay? If the car has air, it has a spark from the spark plugs, and uh, it has fuel, it should be moving properly. This is how people die. Eh? You're overtaking a trailer in a corner. And you guys, let me show you. If you're going up a hill, you don't see something. You are in a corner. Try as much as possible not to overtake. Because even if you if he overtakes me, I can still see him. You get it? That's why people die. And you ask him, Robert Doe, he's still there. I can still chase him and find him. You, if you have a family, you kill your family. Now, in a place like this, you can overtake because it's straight. Now, me, I'm not going to overtake because I've come to a point where I'm actually going to my Maram Road. Yeah, so uh, I think Nkuzemu, my brother, uh, I think, was it Simon? Moses. Nkuzemu, if your car kupipidas in the morning, uh, there is another thing that leads to that. It's called, uh, it's called the air flow meter. New cars have the air flow meter. If your air flow meter is dead or if it's dirty, it can also lead to kupipida in the morning. Actually, with the air flow meter, not just in the morning, the car will kupipida all the time until you either clean the air flow meter or buy another air flow meter. Uh, air flow meters are very important. The air flow meter is the one that uh, regulates the amount of air that goes into the engine. Hey. Hey, I wanted to buy some Mputa and I eat coal, but I've failed to find the Mputa place. Yeah, so this is my Maram Rodi. If only their foolishness killed only the, them, but it's hardly the exactly JK. An idiot will kill other people, like 10 other people that are innocent. And these are things they tell you. Don't overtake in a corner. Don't overtake in a blind spot. But people keep doing it. Yeah. Hey, man, I like Mputa. I like Mputa.
computer. There is a place where they make very good computer, but they make it at uh, six. They make it at starting at six p.m. Yeah, they are in uh, Kagoma. Yeah, computer is nice. So you guys, I think we have covered the engine and the engine bay area. The other thing you need to check, uh, for you, to, you need to check the oil leakages and hydraulic leakages. Eh? It's important that uh, you don't you don't overlook those things. Eh? The leakages and the oil. Now, for that, someone actually needs to show you. That's why I'm telling you, you need to go with the mechanic when you're going to buy a car. Um, you see, the oil leakages normally happen in places where the Muzungu or the Japanese guy put. Uh, I eat mine in Murungu whenever I'm around. Yeah. I've not been to Murungu. So the oil leakages normally happen in places where they are supposed to be seals, oil seals. Okay? In places probably where there are joints of two two metals or two parts or two aluminium parts, they normally put a seal to seal. Okay, it like it's like a rubber. Now normally when it's, when the seal is bad, okay, the car will have a leakage. Doesn't really mean that the engine is bad or the gearbox is bad. It just has a leakage. Okay, mine should be the airflow sensor exactly. So you can check it and see. The plugs are good, the pump is good, the filter is good, the, the nozzles are good. Yeah, you should get someone check out the, the, the mass, the, the airflow, airflow, airflow meter. And uh, yeah, if it's bad, you buy another one. Shouldn't be expensive. I don't think it goes beyond 150. Yeah. But now with the airflow meter, I'd recommend you get someone that does electronics, not the normal mechanics. That's why the normal mechanics actually take time to, to spot that problem. Because it's not, it's not something you can just think of. Eh? Yeah. So uh, don't forget, look for leakages, both the engine and the gearbox. However, sometimes you can buy a car like me when I bought my car. Uh, it didn't have any leakages. But I drove it for like a week or two. And then, because the seal I think was bad, and I think the person that had this car did not drive it so often. Because when I bought it in Masaka, and uh, the, buy we, the guy we bought the car from is one of these rich village men. You know those rich village men that can even leave a car at home and ride the bicycle? That kind of man. He had like three, three houses. So we went to the first house, we found him there, then he drove us in this car, went to the second house, was dropping Matoke, and then we went to the third house. And then he drove us to Masaka town. Again, so he was that kind of man. So he, he had actually parked the car for like I think a month without because he also has a, had a Mark II. Yeah. So um, sometimes you will buy a car that has been parked for some time and uh, and uh, when you buy it because now it has gotten warm the seals the seals get hard and when the seals normally get hard and then the leakages start happening so normally if, you, if it happens and you buy a car and it did not have a leakage uh, before and then it starts having a leakage when you have it don't beat yourself up that it wasn't inspected sometimes it happens that you buy a car and the leakages come okay actually me even the top cover seal was okay when i bought the car but when i drove it for like five months i had to change the top cover seal which i find to be okay yeah, and now that I, I've realized that even guys that buy new cars do do this, some of these things, for me it's okay with my UAM. Yeah, so now we have covered there. Make sure you look for, make sure, we have said, make sure the engine sounds good, especially the guys that are buying expensive cars. Then, uh, make sure that it doesn't overheat. I've also said, make sure that... Uh, make sure that it doesn't have leakages okay uh, now let's go to the gearbox you need to drive the gearbox and you feel it change gears okay now if you don't know how to feel the gears for example if you're a first time driver someone that knows how to listen to those gears the new cars that have this you may not actually hear you may not feel or hear the gears change but they change the, a person that knows how to feel the gears will actually feel them okay so uh, 
don't worry uh, just get it checked out and if it doesn't change gears don't buy that car okay now the CVT gearboxes in particular I've had the problem where people service them and uh, after servicing it the the gear actually dies okay now when it dies Baba Mugezi he will sell you the car quickly quickly mangu mangu that's why you find someone that a, a fielder is 23 million even when used someone says and then you drive the car you get it so you need to uh, also make sure that the gears change properly then uh, the other thing that you need to check when you go to buy a car how to spot it's very easy to spot eh? accident cars okay now the accident cars i'll have actually to show you but you'll have to see it from the outside you know the cars that roll normally they put them back back together and they sell them quickly quickly Kati, you can actually spot a car that has rolled by looking at that mpaji. But you can also look at the roof. However, uh, guys and Kusnobainama guys, they can go and get a top of a car and they join from somewhere. Now normally that's when I go to check a car, especially the cars that are pricey. Someone is buying their car at 15 million. I check all these things. You need to check that it doesn't have an accident history so if you go with the mechanic make sure you go with the mechanic that you can trust to check for you that because if you buy an accident car people will not buy it from you or they'll buy it very cheap you you buy it thinking it's good but reaching the time of selling it and people don't want to buy it because for them they have seen that it's an accident car okay that's why normally you don't just go alone even even in the bond, even in the bond, there are accident cars. You need to know. That's why I told you in the beginning that even the bond guys have grades. Someone will sell you a grade two car cheaper than a grade four car. Okay? Or a grade three car cheaper than a grade four car. And when go to and the Nakubie, I back properly. So you need to know that. And sometimes when you go to this bond, They'll have a grade four car in very good condition. Why they tell you that? Because the grade four car is in very good condition. You are very, you are, you bargain a lot. So they'll show you the cars that you can bargain on. They know that they can sell cheaply within your range. When all those and you have bargain. Yes. So you need to also watch out uh, on that. So we have covered the engine. Make sure there are no leakages, make sure it sounds properly. And if it doesn't, when, if you, still, you really like the car, change the oil. If, it's, if it continues to sound like that, especially the VVT i1, continues with a bad sound, don't buy it. It will be very as simple as that. Uh, then, we have talked about the gearbox as well. We have talked about the, 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 the overheating issue. Now that I, I, I remember it. Never buy a car that has that stolen. No matter what, no matter how badly you want a car. Good. That's why me, normally I tell my people, don't get money out of the bank until you are sure about this car. When you're sure, we actually drive the same car to the bank. You pay from the bank. Okay? Yeah, so and I, I and I normally encourage you guys to come looking for cars during weekdays. And probably can even Saturday can go, but Sunday is a bad day. Because on Sunday some car dealers don't actually work. Okay? And you'll find that those that don't work are the ones with good cars. They're the desperate ones. They really want to sell so they come. Hey you guys, have you seen any Betuli Betuinetaka? By the way, that is a farm. Across the road on the on the on the right is a farm. The same person owns the the portion on the left. He has a very big farm. He even has graders. Even he has graders of his own. So sometimes he grades the land, the, the, the roads for the neighborhood. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have covered the engine gearbox, probably even the engine there. We have talked about the 
Now, uh, I think I've talked about this next point. Try as much as possible to never. A car that has a light. Let me show you this light. You see my lights there? I, I, I have put the ABS off because it was misbehaving. But if, if you were buying a car like mine today, me, I would tell you don't buy a car that has a light like that. The ABS light. You see, you know what my car wants? It wants a new ABS control. The new ABS control for my car is 300,000. But me, I know that I can drive my car without the ABS control, the control unit. So that's why I keep driving my car. Najirawa, Chibaito Okurawa. Okay? I know I can drive it without the ABS control. But why should you buy a car that you're going to put off ABS when you can actually go and find another car that has an ABS? You see where I am? These people have, have buried like two people in a space of two weeks. Life is, is quite unpredictable. This is very spot because normally I, I go, I, I, I pass this place in, uh, in the morning and in the evening. Yeah. They have buried two people in a space of two weeks. That's very sad. That's why I tell you guys, life is short. Buy a car when you can afford it. Yeah, I love cars. The nevu gaburi wamu. I don't take border borders. Life is short. So let me see. Mine should be airflow. Okay. How do they call the machine that checks the mechanical issues the car has? Uh, where can I buy it? You, we have guys here. Uh, you can buy it on eBay. You can buy it on Amazon. You get there are guys that ship things from Dubai for Uganda and Zia. You can go to one of those guys and buy it. It's called the. Uh, we just call them machine. Like normally they they call them OBD, OBD machines. It senses uh, the technical issues, but normally it works mostly on the wire electrical issues. It doesn't work on mechanical issues. You should know. It works on electrical issues only. How much is a new AC system? So now, if you want to put a new AC system in, in a car, it will come between 600,000 and 2 million, depending on the car and how easy accessible the parts for that car are. You get it. Eh? But you might also find that some of the parts in, in your car are, are still okay and uh, that you don't need to replace everything. So you need to get, I have an AC guy that I highly recommend. I've had a lot of friends suffer with AC systems and uh, and uh, later on I gave them my guy. He was much more affordable than the guys that worked for them, but he knows what he does. That's why my AC is, is ice cold. Actually, you see the sound that I have in my AC, there is a part he told me to buy. He told me to buy two parts, Nains and Nagan. He needs to take my dashboard apart. It's a good thing for me because I also get to clean the dashboard area. In Nagana, that's why you hear that there is a sound there in my AC. He's a very reliable guy, very trustworthy. Tabba. He's expensive with uh, with labor, but with the parts, he can even tell you go and buy this part here and here and here and here. He gives you options of places where you can buy the AC, the parts. So I I have an AC guy that I recommend if you don't have one. Or your year, mu recommending a nyon 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 oxing of mechanic. You see, even the mechanics I work with, I can say, ah. but the AC guy here, yeah, I trust him. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's called the OBD machine. So that by the time you decide to buy, you actually know which type to buy. About the type, I think the more expensive the, 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 the machine, the better. You guess, normally the more advanced. So you need to also Google which machine works better for your car. That's also a very good thing for you to, to understand because you may buy a machine that is that has a lot of capabilities that you don't need. Okay? Yeah. So we have covered uh, but also you can you can spot things like leakages, uh, the suspension system. Some of those things I recommend that you go and uh, if you don't have a mechanic with you. You can just drive the car to a nearest petrol station. No, but I'm going to get more okay. No, I'm saying. 
they'll tell you in a bush neno, 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 and then you even know how much you're going to spend but their cars are in good condition like the field that we bought it, uh, even when you drive it Wanga, it's too comfortable see my car is comfortable but it's mostly comfortable behind because the front shocks are dead but the other car is comfortable even in front <laughs> yeah so there are cars that you you may not need to change but we uh, i think we look we looked under the car and yesterday i told you don't buy a four-wheel drive car if the two-wheel drive is sufficient the only reason you should buy a four-wheel drive car is if the car you're buying is a rear wheel drive if you're buying a front wheel drive car don't buy four wheel four wheel will just be uh, more expensive to maintain for nothing i hope i'm clear guys eh? then uh don't buy a car that has a hard steering especially the guys that are not buying new you know there are cars that have steering wheels that will never get hard like my car the toyota alex the toyota wish because those steerings don't use uh, they don't use um i think even the fielder they don't use they don't use uh, hydraulic so they don't have a hydraulic pump that can get dead okay because my steering can never get hard JK is saying that the machine you're looking for is called uh, the Lima Blue Drive or Carista OBD2 sensor. Nozo jira bi abadda buza machine yo kuguru kebere moro. JK has answered you he has recommended something. Then there is uh, how are you today with 50 million can I get a nice car to enter town S no you you it will not be nice. It will be drivable but it won't be the best today let me not go to the show you see today i'm buying my milk chigaga you know for us here in the village we get uh, milk that has come from the cows directly and uh, they bring them from the farms to the diaries and uh, for us here a, a liter is two thousand when you're buying fresh dairy or just how you buy a half liter at 2000 probably 500 uh, for us we buy a liter at 2000 uh, so i buy two liters one of the advantages of uh, of moving to the village that's one of the advantages of moving to the village and i have my kafoke here so you guys i hope uh, that that is quite clear that uh, but of course, sometimes there, there I, I think JK, there are some simpler OBD sensors. Eh? There are some small ones where you, you can just download an app, subscribe yearly, and then you just get a plug to plug in the computer area here. And then you can check your car. But the more advanced, the better you get. I think the more advanced, even the, the more durable it is and all that. Um... So we have talked about you checking all those things, but the bushes you should go to 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 uh, if you don't have a mechanic, go to a petrol station and tell them to check them out. But also the shocks, the shocks actually I don't think you need to do because when, when you drive a car that has bad shocks, you can actually feel it when you go to potholes or humps. Cutting uh, other field that we just bought, we, you could feel that. Everything is still intact. In our talking the Tunlayo one singer, everything is still intact. Now, the other thing that you need to make sure that you have when you buy a car, if especially when you're buying an old car, make sure the person gives you a spare tire. There is no reason why you buy a car and then you buy a spare tire later. Make sure you have you have a jack, a wheel spanner. Okay, na akakuba. It's called a hook. Thank you very much. Yeah. So this all this milk is uh, four thousand. Yeah. I got you people. Very big man. Good no. Better must stance and even better must game park. I'm my money. Now after about four wheel drive, rough four lovers have lost morale. It's a full time four wheel drive. And to cut your battery, you charge you If you want to buy it, if you want to buy a rough four and it has four wheel drive, four wheel drive full time, that one you have nothing to do with it. JDK. But sometimes Bazira one never jack off four wheel, next gaza two wheel. Bazira one. Like me, the carafe I'm going to buy for my wife, we don't need four wheel. For what? You two better was saying. So we are going to to uh to remove the let me 
let me put off the OC, PC and open the window. We are going to remove the we are going to remove the we are going to remove the the four wheel where should I pass? Where should I pass? Where should I pass? Oh man, I have so many roads. This is far. Let me use this one. This one has problems with poles. Let me use the further one. Uh, I've just seen a LC1 chain send them. <laughs> He's my neighbor. So you guys, um, those things that are invisible, or you know, between all the, the other thing that you guys need to check when you go to buy a car, that uh, you need to pay attention to, you need to pay attention to the fact that the car has no police receipts. The fielder had receipts of about 150,000. Of course, the person selling the car did, agreed to pay the money. Okay? But you need to make sure that the car has no receipts, police receipts. You also need to make sure that it doesn't have multiplex receipts. Okay? Then, you also need to make sure that it's in the new URA system. You need to make sure that it's in the new URA system. That's the, 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 the new logbook. You will not be able to buy third party if uh, the car is not in the new logbook system. So you need to make sure you check that. Normally, for you to check if a car is in the new logbook system, you check it uh, by going to mobile Airtel Money. Yeah, I, I'm very familiar with Airtel Money, star 185, star 7, star 6, star 1 hash. And then they'll ask you for your number plate. You put in that number plate. And then if it's in the new logbook system, you can either bring the names of the owner and how much they owe for third party, or it will uh, it will tell you that it has a valid uh, third party running. If it's not in the new logbook system, it will tell you uh, that they cannot, the card does not exist on in the URI system. Yeah. Then, of course, I, I told you how to check for police receipt. Just, just download the U, the UPF Mobi. Me, when I go to buy a car for someone or to help them buy, I don't download that app to my phone. It has malware. But I tell them to download. You can remove it afterwards and flash your phone with uh, antivirus. But it helps you check to make sure that you don't have police receipts. Multiplex can be checked using Airtel Money as well. Thank you, the HB guy. This is why we have fresh air. Uh, but also there is another guy here that has a farm on two sides. He has goats, he has cows. I think those are some of the goats over. Are those birds? Yeah, he has this side and also that side. Yeah, I was you are right, Guletaka or Sinike. I'm sure when this guy, he's an army guy, I'm sure when he bought this land, he probably bought each acre at like 300,000. You get when the land was still cheap. Yeah. So you guys that have money, uh, you have some plus money, buy land. Yeah. So uh, I think I've, I've basically covered the things. So Grammar Rocket Calva Steering, Inokchusa Gears, make sure the car is actually clean. Okay. It will cost you money to actually clean it. Okay, Especially if there are still cushion seats. Yeah. Because it might cost you our field that was very clean. Our course our, which was five million was also very clean. You get eh? so you need to make sure uh, that you do those things. But also, you know the things that I normally tell you, deduct this money, deduct that money. Sometimes you can think you're getting a good offer. Make sure you check it out, not just saying that it's a good offer. Yeah, check the car very well. Even in the bonds, they have classes of car. Class 1, 2, 3, up to 8. And the, the bigger the class, the better the car. But you cook the class 2, you can buy it. You That's why you'll find that someone can, can comfortably buy an old car at a high price. Because you have more car courage. have money. Yeah. So you guys, I have to go. I've done a full hour. Unless you have a question, I think I saw a question here. Yeah. Unless you have a question, Ogena Kunzi Kirizamba Sibule. It's a Sunday. I've not even given my kids time today. My budget is at 16 million for Toyota Town S, but I have no idea about it. Could you please advise me because I need to do my own small business? I totally understand Nedith, but 16 million, Town S will be able to work, but it, it will not be in the best condition. 
that I'll, I'll guarantee you it will not be in the best condition yeah you need to know you may end up buying a kanga you're going to be fixing it all the time and it doesn't matter whether it's petrol or diesel the town s at 16 million is it will not be in its best condition you need to know that don't just go and buy simply because it and it will, it will not look good first of all because it's a commercial car people have been using it but uh nice weekend to you too vincent just make town s you need to and and the thing with the town s is that even the spare is rare now because remember those town s trucks of young of the newer models which you can't get at your price but even the older models at 16 teja kwa condition in nungi nyo you need to make sure you have some company aside to fix this car whenever it breaks down. Yeah, I hope I'm clear there. So you guys, I have to go. Uh, don't forget, help me spread the word about my marketing workshop. It's starting on 28th November, ending on 3rd December. Uh, if you go to this channel, go to the community tabs, you will see there is a place where I posted the flyer for the, for the workshop. In the videos here, this it's you know on the channel. I still put videos about the workshop. Share the links of the videos. Share the flyer with the person. You can share my contact with them. But Jeva Some is not a very expensive workshop. It's for five day, for six days, and it will cost only 160,000. Yeah, it will not be populated because I want to give every business owner uh, and every person attention to make sure that they understand everything. Yeah, I'll have some some guest uh, guest instructors as well. Yeah, again, the first of the for people that are experienced with marketing as well. Yeah, so you guys, thank you very much for being here. I hope I've, I've tried to, uh, to uh, handle everything. I like this house. Ah, this thing is. Let me just show you this house. I like it. It's small and simple, but I don't know. There's something I like about it. Yeah, I like it. Estate. Yo, hi guys, thank you very much now. Uh, this was at, 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 I don't know how to read that. Mokisa Emma, Seth uh, Kagaba, David, Kenneth Gumisiriza, Chisache Simon, Moses Adams, uh, JK, uh, Nadith Stewart. And Vincent, thank you very much for taking the time to be to watch this live broadcast. I wish you a very a very good weekend and a good beginning of the week. Of course, I'll be here at 7:30 uh, tomorrow. Nange, yes, Maria, you have come late. Yes, Maria, sorry, sorry. We'll catch up tomorrow. I'll do a live at uh, I'll do a live at 7:30 for two thirty, and I'm going. Yeah, but we can come tomorrow 7.30 in the morning. 7.20 actually. So guys, bye. Have a very nice weekend. Ciao.